One of the biggest announcements at IMTS 2018 was the partnership between Hewlett Packard and GKN Powder Metallurgy for metal additive manufacturing. We spoke to representatives from both companies about the future of industrial 3D printing. Yeah, so basically we announced a couple different things. We announced a brand new HP based technology called Metal Jet. Um, you know, at the announcement we talked about how it's disruptive. We talked about, you know, the value chain where we see it playing, We're really enabling mass production with cost effective, you know, break even, so the right economics, enabling uh, part quality meets ASTM standards. That's kind of the first thing. The other one is we're announcing partnerships. One of the partnerships we announced is GKN and HP working together. We're one of, you know, if I can be so humble, we're the world's best printing company. GKN is one of the, you know, is probably the world's best powder parts producing company. We want to partner with the best. We also announced other partners, and one of them includes VW. It was basically going to take some of their parts, and collectively we'll figure out how to take those to market, right? Yeah, and the way I see this partnership working, and the, I think the reason it's been successful to this point, and I think it's a great recipe for the future, is the DNA of both of our companies. As you mentioned, they complement each other very well. Technology and printing technology, specifically for HP, our, our opinion, the best in the world. GKN uh, Powder Metallurgy, we both produce materials and parts, but we also have a window into the marketplace with customers like Volkswagen and Velo that we're here today. The reason that's so important, there has to be a great deal of collaboration with customers. First of all, to get them to take the brave step to adapt and, and adopt technology early, but then to take it to its fullest extreme and really industrialize. And so us working together with fantastic technology and experience and materials and, and getting things designed into the marketplace, I think it's a great recipe for success. As a matter of fact, we think by joining forces, we can actually accelerate it much faster than if either one of us tried to do it you know, independently on our, on our own. Right? Mm -hmm. There's a reason why native manufacturing is primarily in those applications today, because that's where the economics work. You're talking about machines that are very expensive, very slow, right? So the only place it works is really high value, right? Like, say, some titanium lightweight experiment, where if you're going to machine that, you're going to throw all the titanium on the floor, you're wasting a lot of money. So that's where it works today, which is why the additive industries end up in that space. In our particular case, we're kind of going after the mainstream, right? We have a technology that enables the economics to basically get into you know, steel applications, you know, break-evens and more 50 to 100,000 in that particular spot. So all of a sudden it becomes very interesting to automobile and industrial where it didn't make sense for them before because the economics would never work. Yeah, for us, our venture into BinderJet together with HP was really to take products that were possible in our powder metallurgy technology in the past and replicate and be relevant or have a process that was relevant for lower volumes within the marketplace. And what we've discovered along the way is that we can actually expand into bigger markets and, and provide products that have applications that are non-typical to conventional powder metal processes like we have today. And so what we're finding is, yes, we can move into a lower volume space that would probably be typical applications for us, but the exciting part is, with this volume that we can produce with binder jet, we can actually move into new applications. So the piece of the pie that we or the pie that we traditionally operated can now get much larger.